Thanks for joining me today. If you are new here, thanks so much for joining us. My name is Jessica. I run this channel called Mental Health Mom, and I am in my third pregnancy. And so if this is your first pregnancy, I go through things that have happened with not, not only this pregnancy, but my last two pregnancies as well. So you kind of get the comparative synopsis here of um, whether or not my symptoms have been consistent throughout all of my pregnancies. And for the most part so far, my symptoms have been pretty consistent. The only thing I would say that is the major difference is that in my first pregnancy, I was a uh, group B strep. I forget how you call it, group B strep positive, which is something they test for at the very end. Um, I believe it's like 36, 37 weeks. They test for that. Um, in my first pregnancy, I was positive for that. And then in my second pregnancy, I was not. And then um, I had severe, severe morning sickness in my first pregnancy as well. I actually had hyperemesis gravidarium, and if you don't know what that is, Google it. You'll be horrified. It's terrible. I was hospitalized three times with that pregnancy because I couldn't keep anything down. Um, some of you may have seen my 12-week pregnancy vlog that I just posted not too long ago, and I had pretty severe morning sickness in that vlog, but even that does not compare to the morning sickness that I had with my first pregnancy. You guys, it was so miserable. <laughs> and so, um, thankfully, this pregnancy has not been like that. I have had morning sickness here and there but that's really the only major difference. All of my symptoms really have been consistent with all three of my pregnancies. So, again, if you're new here, thank you so much for joining, and let's get started on the um, 13 and 14 week pregnancy update. For those of you who are interested, I also wanted to invite you to check us out on Instagram. My handle is at mental.health.mom, and there you will find additional updates, as well as me sharing some of my favorite products and fun things that are happening throughout the week. See you there. Now, you've probably noticed by now that in these past two videos I've done on pregnancy updates, I've done two weeks at a time. I'm not gonna make a habit out of that. This is the last video that I'm actually going to be doing in segments of two weeks at a time. I do wanna do this week by week, but I was so sick for a little while there that I got really behind on videos and had trouble prioritizing them. I think I'm out of the woods now. I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> um, so you can depend on seeing them every week from now on. Okay, so as far as the baby is concerned, um, the baby has fingerprints now, which is so cool. And you can actually see all the baby's veins and organs through their skin, which is translucent. Um, babies react to light now, though if you shine a flashlight on your belly, the baby will try to go away from the light. And um, some other really cool things, the baby's about the size of a lemon, so cute. And I've been feeling movements from the baby for the past few weeks. I think if it's your first pregnancy, it's a little harder to determine what is a movement and what isn't, especially in the beginning when you're feeling flutters. But by your third pregnancy, you can very easily determine what is the baby moving and what is not. What's just like gas bubbles or something like that. So Tenny's joining us. Say hey Tenny. I can especially feel the baby really easily if I am leaned over and I'm putting pressure on the baby and the baby gets a little bit squished. It's really easy to feel the baby kicking and moving when I'm leaned over, especially in the sitting position. Say hello. So other cool facts about the baby right now, of course we don't know what the gender of our baby is, but if you have a female baby, then she has already produced over two million eggs in her ovaries. Now because I'm a therapist and my concentration is in neuropsychology, I am fascinated at the fact that the neurons in my baby's brain have already begun to fire and that's actually causing some twitching and grimacing in my baby's facial expressions. So cute. If you get an ultrasound at this point, you can probably see your baby sucking its thumb. Both of my babies were huge thumb suckers. Adelai, my second child, was actually obsessed with sucking on the placenta. Every time we would see her in an ultrasound, she was actually sucking on the placenta. 
<laughs> and then when she came out, she was a very good uh, feeder. She latched right away on the breast, both of mine did. So I think it's a really good sign if you see your baby sucking on either the placenta or their thumb in the ultrasounds. Now, as far as my symptoms, I know a lot of women start to feel better at week 14, not just because the more negative symptoms seem to be alleviating, but also because that means you're officially out of the first trimester. Week 14 is the first week of the second trimester, and that means your chances of miscarriage drop dramatically. This would be so much easier if I wasn't fighting with a toddler, a crazy toddler. At this point, I have gained about five or six pounds in this pregnancy. I still haven't actually lost my weight from my first baby. A lot of you guys know I got pregnant with this baby when my last baby was about four months old. And so I was still working on that weight loss. I actually, <laughs> she's our dog outside. Um, and I actually started showing a lot sooner with this pregnancy. I think not just because, of course, your abdominal muscles are stretched out by the time you have your third baby, but mine were still really relaxed and stretched out because I had literally just had a baby. <laughs> so, um, my uterus even was probably still stretched out and had not had a chance to really tone back up and regain that firmness that it gets when you're not pregnant. So I started showing really early with this pregnancy. I'm much larger than I was with either one of my other girls. And I think probably then a lot of women would be at this point, unless they're having twins or triplets or something. <laughs> now I'm going to make a dentist appointment because I've been having a toothache up here on the right side. Um, I was really concerned about it because I don't go to the dentist like I should. Over the past three years, I've just been crazy busy with having babies and so I started getting this toothache and I remembered my teeth always get really sensitive around this point in the pregnancy. So I probably don't have a cavity, but probably the hormonal issues and the gum inflammation and things like that that you encounter in pregnancy are the cause for the toothache um, and definitely for the bleeding gums. But it's so important to keep up with your dental care during pregnancy because of the increased inflammation that you get in your gums. That actually puts you at an increased risk for periodontal disease. So you wanna keep up with those cleanings and dentist appointments. The insomnia has gotten so much better. Oh yeah, did you draw a picture? Beautiful. I'm getting really tired and able to go to sleep now as long as the girls will let me. Um, anywhere from like 10 to midnight, which you guys know for me is really good. At some point in the pregnancy, especially in the very, very beginning, I had severe insomnia. I was unable to go to sleep any time before like three or four in the morning. It was miserable. <laughs> I'm so glad that's over. As far as being tired, I'm not tired all the time during the day anymore. And I actually have a lot of my energy back, which is great. There are parts of the day where I absolutely feel like myself again, and I'm not as out of breath as I was in like weeks 11 and 12 and the weeks prior to that as well. But I do notice that I'll feel like myself, have my normal levels of energy, and then somewhere between like, woo! But somewhere between around like 1 p.m. and 4 p.m., I absolutely crash. And I just get so sleepy, I feel like I have to close my eyes and whatever we're doing has to stop. I try to power through, but I just get so sleepy. It's like that 2.30 feeling. What is it? It's the eggs. Oh, it's Easter eggs? Oh, beautiful. Um, you know that 2.30 feeling that people talk about <laughs> and then they get like a caffeine or protein break or something like that? Um, that's how I start feeling. Anywhere from like one to four, I get that 2.30 feeling and I am crashing major. I actually like put a movie on the other day for Tenny and Adelaide and I were napping beside her on the couch while she was watching her movie. And <laughs> Addie and I had dozed off and Tenny woke me up and she pointed to the bedroom and said, takes this thing go night night, okay? <laughs> I don't know when she became my mother but at some point she grew up on me. Crazy kid. 
So that's basically it, you guys. A lot of the more negative symptoms have gone away. I mean, I'll get some flashes of headaches and <laughs> nausea here and there. But I have to say, I'm enjoying this pregnancy so much more than any other pregnancy I've had. Paper cut in my eye. It's just so much easier, even with having two kids. And even with that awful day that you guys saw on the vlog, um, that was, you know, sort of a fluke, I think. Every day has not been like that. And with my other pregnancies, every single day for a very long time uh, was like that. So, thank you guys so much for joining us today. I am really enjoying this pregnancy. Um, a lot of the negative symptoms are gone. I just feel so incredibly blessed. And um, if you are on your first or second or even third or fourth pregnancy and you're still struggling, I'm so sorry. I feel you. I struggled major with my first two pregnancies. I actually had pregnancy sickness my entire first pregnancy. I was puking up until the time I gave birth to her. So it's extremely difficult. I appreciate what you're doing. Making a human is not easy. <laughs> and then raising a human is not easy. <laughs> but you at least don't have your body hijacked when you're raising tiny humans as opposed to making them. You at least feel like you have your body back. So anyway, Hang in there, Mama. You're doing great, and I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. To the rest of you, I love you guys. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>